Yo, fuck it is, bye. It's pale Bellaby, it is, bitch. You heard me. You dig is bad or dog. Nah. Real quick, bro. Real quick, is you about to get straight to the biz of ice, you feel me? I want to open up this video with saying, rest in peace to Young Cheese, bro. Respectfully, bro. Rest in peace to Young Cheese. I want to send my condolences to Gilly, to Gilly the Kid and his family. You feel me? Y'all hold your head, bro. Respectfully, man. So look, I'm going uh, to read a little bit of this article. And then I'm going to uh, give y'all my perspective, you feel me? Give y'all a little bit of commentary. I'm, 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 I'm going to give y'all the truth behind why this happened. You feel me? From my perspective. And then I'm going uh, to play this news clip at the end of the video. So let's get into it. All right. Philadelphia CBS. Philadelphia police. Philadelphia police believe the son of famous local rapper turned podcaster. Gilly the King was the victim killed in the triple shooting in the city's only section Thursday night. Now, for those who don't know, that's North Philly. Like, them niggas is from North Philly. That's where they grew up at. They say, uh, the shooting happened just before 8.30 p.m. near the intersection of Masher, Masher Street and Nidro Avenue. When police got there, they found two shooting victims about a block away, including a 25-year-old man who had been shot in the back. They took those two to Einstein Medical Center where the man who had been shot in the back was pronounced dead. Multiple people on the scene told police that the 25-year-old victim was YNG Cheese or Young Cheese, Gilly's son. Police are still trying to confirm that as social media lit up with tributes to the artist Thursday night. Um... That's I believe that's what uh, Wallow posted. Uh, I ain't gonna read that part. Let's keep going. The two others hurt in a shooting. A twenty, a twenty-eight year old man and a thirty-one year old man are both in stable condition at Einstein. Police are still trying to track down who shot these three men. Now, notice. Notice that the 20 year old man, right? And a 31 year old man, both of them niggas still alive. I mean, I think I think one of them got shot in the leg, the other one got shot in the hip. But both of them niggas in stable condition. Not saying that they conspired the 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 half shorty killed. I'm I ain't, I'm I'm not insinuating none of that. I'm just saying just God is real. I mean, it's Gilly's son that's dead. They found yo shot in the back. You feel me? And he was pronounced dead 19 minutes after the shooting. If I'm not mistaken, he, he might have been dead on arrival. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. But you know, like, them bitches travel. Like, that's how my sister baby father got shot. Like, he got shot with a 22. And, like, he kept running. Probably not even knowing he was shot. And that bitch traveled right to his heart. Like, and yo got shot in his back. Like, that shit probably traveled. I'm pretty sure he probably kept running until he couldn't run no more and, and hit the ground and it was a wrap. You feel me? But God is real, bro. Cause three of them, three niggas got shot and only one died. And the one that died happened to be the most successful. The one who had the most to lose. Like, I just like you can't trust niggas bro respectfully like for real bro like i don't fuck with you niggas bro i don't trust you niggas man this man grew up in north philly right it was eight something at night bro like and we know like once shit get dark like you never know what can happen in the hood like like niggas is like Niggas be on demon time, and I'm not celebrating it. I'm saying it like in a bad way, with a bad connotation. Like, you feel me? If I'm, I'm gonna keep it a bang with you. If I'm cheese, fuck you niggas. I'm not even like, fuck you niggas, fuck you bitches. Like, I'm not even ready to be out here 
with you niggas after dark. Like, I got too much to lose, you feel me? I'm driving this nice car. I got all this nice jewelry on. Probably got a few dollars in my pocket. Like, I don't even live in North Philly. Like, I'm like, you know I mean, my father is Gilly the fucking kid. Gilly the king. Like, you feel me? It's Gilly. This nigga is famous. He's... Come on, it's Gilly and Wallow, like, all a nigga gotta do, like, all a nigga gotta do is, like, yo, you know cheese down this bitch, like, you know what I mean, like, and niggas will be on, on bullshit, you feel me, for real, man, niggas is dirty, bro, niggas is dirty, bro, niggas will kidnap you, hold you for ransom, Hating ass niggas just want to rob you. You feel me? Bitch ass niggas want to kill you. It's like, you got to know your surroundings, bro. And you can't be naive. Like, you can't be delusional thinking just because you in your hood that you safe. You feel me? Or because you with two niggas you grew up with, you can trust them. Because you see what happens. You chilling in the hood with probably... Pretty sure he ain't just being around two random niggas or two niggas he just met. I would hope not. I, I, I'm pretty sure the other two niggas, you feel me, knew him. Maybe, because they, they, were, they were a few years older than him. But I'm pretty sure they had some kind of relationship. But who happened to get shot and killed? Them niggas ain't get killed. Them niggas in stable condition. All you niggas ran. One nigga got shot in the back. The other nigga got shot in the hip. Yo got shot in the back And now he's dead So it's like Even if you say, Even even if you wanna I mean you can look at it from two ways You can look at it like the shooter was trying to Get shorty out of there He was trying to get cheese out of there So that's why I mean They 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 they, they aim for, for 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 his back or whatever or, or Or you can just say like That was just fate That was just the most high you know what I mean? That was just the most high. It was just meant for him to go like that and not the other two diggers. Feel me so? God is real, man. Niggas got to stop playing with their life, bro. Respectfully. Niggas got to stop playing with their lives, bro. There's no reason why you should be in the hood, ate something at night. See, niggas be having this... Man, niggas be having this, 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 this dumbass... Way of thinking like uh, I'm still in the hood Niggas always want to brag about Still being in the hood I'm not saying that was cheese thing I'm not saying that This was the situation But I'm just saying like Everybody like Niggas always want to brag about Still being in the hood Like that's not a badge of honor bro The goal is to get the fuck out of the hood Who wants to be in the fucking projects bro Who wants to, to, to live in these low subsidiary properties Who wants to be around These nothing ass niggas Who just do the same shit all day Every fucking day Niggas do the same shit all day, literally all day, every day, bro. Stand on the corner, everybody sell, selling the same shit, fucking hollering at the same bitches. You know what I mean? Getting getting chased and harassed and by the same police. It's like, it's nothing in the fucking hood. I don't know why y'all act like the hood is something to really claim and something to be proud of. It's nothing in the fucking hood. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing in the fucking hood. Go enjoy life, nigga. You got money. Get the fuck out of the hood. I don't know why niggas always gonna come back to the hood. And, bro, who told us this, bro? Who the fuck was this, bro? Boosie? Come on, man. He told us this years ago. Niggas die in their own city. They die in their own hood, bro. Because niggas watch you come up with nothing. And when you get something, they become, they become envious and jealous, bro. Now they say these three niggas was it was they said it was the all right. That they, they they saying the fucking possibly that the fucking shooter was out there with him. That what they saying like it could have possibly been an argument over a dice game or whatever, and the nigga just you know what I mean start shooting it and niggas took off and, and yo got hit in the back. Shit crazy, bro, but come on, bro. But listen, man, God is real, bro. 
the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. You feel me? It's a scripture. It's in, it's in the book of Samuel, bro. I believe it's 1 Samuel or 2 Samuel. The Lord killeth and make it for love. When people die, bro, respectfully. When somebody dies, I don't give a fuck who you are, bro. Nobody's exempt. From the small to the great. Give a fuck if you piss poor or you got a shitload of money. I mean, you could be a fucking billionaire. Trick. It don't matter, bro. Any life that's taken from off of this planet is done by the most high. The Most High is responsible for killing any person that ever lived on this planet. Your spirit belongs to him. It don't belong to you. You're just a temporary owner. It don't fucking belong to you. Did you create the spirit? Did you make the spirit? You ain't even make your fucking body. So you know damn well you ain't make the spirit. The spirit don't belong to you. Go back to his rightful owner, the Most High, man. So when somebody died... It's by reason of the most high. You people love to say the devil, the devil will. Even if, okay, we can say, oh, you, we, okay, the, the most high, the devil works for the most high. Satan works for the most high. They are all doing the bidding of the most high. So whoever you want to say did it, it still goes back to the most high. So, it is what it is, man. But respectfully, man. Rest in peace, bro. Rest rest in peace, bro. I'm gonna play uh I'm gonna play this before I leave, man. It only kills one person and sends two other people to the hospital. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Rossi Matei is live for us this morning at police headquarters with the very latest. Ross. Hey, Jen. Yeah, we know that three people were shot and one of them, a 25-year-old man, was killed. And Philadelphia police believe that that victim is the son of famous Philadelphia rapper turned podcaster Gilly the King. But they are still trying to confirm that at this hour of the morning. The shooting took place shortly before 8.30 last night, just uh, right near the intersection of Masher Street and Nedro Ave in Philadelphia's only section. And when police got there, they found two shooting victims about a block away from there. One man had been shot in the back and another man shot in the leg. Police took those two to Einstein Hospital, and they say a third shooting victim showed up there on their own. The 25-year-old who was shot in the back was pronounced dead at 8.39 p.m. The other two victims, a 28-year-old and a 31-year-old, were both shot in the leg. They're both in stable condition, expected to be okay. Police are still trying to track down who shot these three men and why. We don't have a description of a shooter or shooters, nor do we have a motive for this triple shooting homicide. We did find some private surveillance cameras in the neighborhood. So hopefully these cameras recorded something that could help us with this triple shooting homicide investigation.